What's up guys, welcome to your 65th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again, it's me Travis. What we're going to do is do like a, you know, simple animation and uh, adding a few other things that we can do with this canvas here. So let's first do our animation. And how we're going to do that is just basically set up an int, or let's do a float. Um, yeah, float. That's something new. Um, and we're just going to call this changing... Y. Um, yeah, changing Y sounds good. And basically within our constructor, because again this is going to be called because um, that's just how things work I guess. Changing Y, we're going to set it equal to be 0. Now what we can do is instead of having this 0 here, we can put in a variable such as our changing Y. And at the moment it's still 0, so it's not going to change anything. But what we can do is we can... Um, now add change because basically this on draw is going to be looping so we can say changing y actually let's do uh, if changing y is less than uh, canvas dot get height then we're going to add to it so it's going to get bigger and bigger until it gets to um, you know the size of our canvas so we're going to add like what 10, 10 pixels or something and uh, if that's not the case if it's bigger than the canvas then we're going to say else and we're just going to start it over uh, changing y is equal to 0 so it's basically going to start it over and now if we run this as well because basically this on draw thing is going to be called over and over and over or actually right now it's not I'm sorry we need to do one last thing so within our on draw we need to do one method called invalidate and basically it's going to like check it's going to go through this on draw it's going to be like hey man you draw the background white it's going to be like yeah it's like hey man uh, you you put the ball on there yeah hey man did you change the change in y variable yeah all right, I think we're done for the day, and then like the boss is like invalidated, do it over again. Um, that's that's not the case. Just restart it. So that's gonna cause it to go into a loop of some sort. So you have to have that invalidate method. We're just gonna save that and run it now. And uh, you know this is gonna be our first simple animation because you know our changing y is zero, and then it's gonna go through and paint everything. And then it's going to invalidate, so it's going to start over, but our changing y variable will now be 10, which will make it go a little bit lower on the canvas until it gets to the point that the number is so high, it's the same or bigger, a greater value than our, the height of our canvas, and then it's going to, uh, you know, start it back at zero. So, I mean, it's not that cool of an animation, but uh, there we go. It's something simple. Now let's add something else to our, our screen here. So after we've changed our value, um, let's let's add a box or a rectangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to say rec. This is a class name, um, basically referring to a rectangle class. And we're going to say uh, middle rec for like the because we're going to put this rectangle in the middle for the most part. So we need to import a rectangle. And what we're going to do we're going to say new rec and that's a method and basically that's just like what we did with our you know our graphics class except this time we aren't passing anything in so the constructor of the rec class is gonna have nothing within its parameters so hopefully you're kinda getting this uh, th this constructor and this new business going on um, so basically we set up a new rectangle and now we're just gonna kinda define the rectangle so what we can do is say middle rectangle and um, then we say dot uh, set and as you can see we have a left top right bottom so let's do our left as zero our right's going to be canvas dot uh, get width and then our height let's say let's just guess on this let's just do like 400 and for our bottom 
again this is the top of the rectangle and this is the bottom so we're gonna say 500 so it's gonna be just like let's do 550 so there we go we kinda set up the dimensions of the rectangle now and now let's also set up a certain color so what we can do is something like um, a paint which is gonna be a paint variable and we're gonna say our blue obviously could we could refer to the color class and then do blue because I'm sure they have that but we're gonna do it a little different way uh, just be you know teaching you guys something new so we have our paint our blue and now we're gonna say um, you know uh, what, new paint I'm sorry space out there paint and then uh, we can say our blue dot set um, set color to again color dot uh, blue and uh, let's let's say let's just keep it at that for now uh, I'll show you guys some other stuff in the next tutorial because this one's getting kind of lengthy but uh, all we have to do now is we gotta paint them onto our canvas so we need to refer to our canvas and say dot um, draw rec and then it takes a rectangle and a paint within its parameters so we're gonna say a rectangle which we just created was middle rectangle or middle rect and our paint was called our blue so our blue yeah and let's see how that looks so I'm just gonna save this and run this as well I know this tutorial is getting kinda of long and then we'll probably do maybe one more tutorial um, before we actually get into the way that you guys want to do it because right now we're extending the view class and you, that's not necessarily the way you want to do animations and such so um, we'll probably do one more just to get you guys familiar with how to draw rectangles or bitmaps onto some kind of a canvas uh, so let's open this up and there we go this is 400 down and this is 550 pixels down as you can see the ball goes behind the, the rectangle because within our code we painted the ball first and then we painted our rectangle after that onto our canvas here so the ball is being painted and then you know the, the rectangle is being painted on top of that so hopefully you guys get some uh, information out of this tutorial and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace